In the 80s, going online was almost an adventure. In order to visit an BBS, you required expensive gear. And your quest mainly consisted of patiently dialing magic phone numbers. Today, the magic of going online is virtually gone. But modern technology and an old rotary dial phone still can bring some of the magic back. If you like dialing numbers to gain access to websites, then this project is something for you. With just one simple box, you can connect your old phone to your modern computer and control your internet browser in a way that looks a lot like the good old days of the internet. The box makes the rotary phone act like a keyboard, which has the big advantage of not needing any special driver or software to use it. The system has several modes, but the speed dial mode is perhaps the most practical. This is how the speed dial mode works. Pick up the phone, wait for the dial tone, and dial a number from 1 to 8. The computer will automatically open a web browser, and then go to the corresponding bookmark in your bookmarks folder. When you are done with the web browser, just put down the phone, and the browser will automatically close. But for the real retro experience more dialing is required. Which brings us to the IP address dialing mode. The IP address mode is a bit more complicated. Because, you need to have the IP address of the site you want to visit. Pick up the phone, wait. Pick up the phone, wait for the dial tone, and dial a zero. The zero is chosen for this function, to make it look like the standard prefix, for access to an outside line. The computer will automatically open a web browser, in which you then can dial the IP address. Dialing of the address, instantly brings you back to the 80s. Just like then, you are required to dial the direct number of the site you want to visit. When you are done with the web browser, hang up the phone, and the browser will automatically close. But, before you get too excited about this project, there is one little thing you should know. Finding an IP address of a website that actually works is more difficult than you might expect. Because, these days, many websites are hosted on a single server. Meaning that they can no longer be reached directly through their IP address alone. So this could mean that this whole project is now completely useless. But that's certainly not the case. Because there are plenty of number-based URLs around the world. Many of which are Chinese. That's because, in China, numbers are more than numbers alone. Numbers have a meaning that goes beyond their numerical value. A big part of that comes from the way they are pronounced. As some numbers sound very similar to some very common words. Therefore, for the Chinese, a combination of number-based sounds can be easier to remember than a long string of alphabetical characters. For example, if you want to visit the Chinese website of McDonald's to place an order, then all you need to do is dial 4008-517-517.cn. It really works and is quite easy to remember if you consider that the 517 sounds in Chinese something like, I want to eat. So in order to maximize the practical use of this project, it might be useful to learn a new language. This is how it works. 
Inside the white box is an Arduino Pro Micro, acting like a USB keyboard. It can generate the phone's dial tone and modem-like sounds. It detects the phone's hook, button and dial signals and converts them into a set of keyboard shortcut commands. Because the system emulates a normal keyboard, there is no special software to be installed on the computer. Make sure that the Firefox web browser and calculator are the first and second program located on the taskbar. Open Firefox and make sure that your favorite bookmarks are stored in the folder called Other Bookmarks. The system has three modes. Speed dial mode, calculator mode and IP address mode. And the dial of the phone has two functions the normal function for dialing numbers, and the shifted function to dial special functions, like delete, dot com or enter. In order to use the shifted functions, press the button on the phone, then dial the desired function. The calculator mode allows the user to do some basic calculations, in a very complicated way. Although this mode seems far from practical, it does work. When you are done with the calculator, just put down the phone, and the calculator program will automatically close.